Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for automation testing series and this is the fourth tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about the variables in Python. So let's begin. So what are the variables? Variables are basically containers where you can store our data values. So let's take an example of real time where you actually store the different items into the different areas. For example, you store your food in the fridges, you can store your shoes in the shoe rack, right? And you have also different areas where you store your stuff. So in a similar way, in order to store a data value, we need some container, right? And once we store the value, we also label that particular storage in order to, to recall this one. For example, if you have 10 boxes and you have placed different accessories in them, and if you don't label them, so it will be hard for you to recall where exactly which item placed in which particular box. Similarly, in the programming, when we are getting the variables, which are containers, we also need to label them so that we can call them, we can find them, and we can use them. Okay, so this these are known as the variables. Now, when we talk about the variables itself, so there is a concept of dynamic typing in the Python. So what is dynamic typing? So dynamic typing means that we don't need to tell the Python that, okay, this data is number, this data is a string. It automatically picks up. If, if I define a variable and it can be number, so for example, I provide 10, then it will automatically detect that it's a number, it's an integer. Similarly, if I define that it's hello world and it will automatically detect that it would be a string. So from this concept, we also learn one more thing that data can be number, can be strings, can be your phone number, address, postal code, anything. So these are known, all known as a data here, right? So in, in context of automation testing, so when we talk about automation testing, we, we know that we can store a value inside a variable. So we can store a test data, which we need to use in our tests. We can also save the configurations so that we can use in the test. We can also track the state changes during the test executions. We can also save the expected and actual results. So for example, I have expected results in one variable, actual results in other variable. Now I just need to compare if both are equal, the test case is passed, if both are not equal the test cases failed okay so there are different uh, uses of the variable in in the automation as well now what are the benefits of using uh, the variables specifically when we talk about the automation so variable allow reusability so we can use the same data in the multiple tests because we have stored and we have a reference for this one as a label we will just call this one similarly Tomorrow, if there is a change in the value, we just need to change at one place instead of changing into the 10 different or 100 different places. Furthermore, if we use a well-defined variable names, it would be easier for us to read and understand what these variable contains. So for example, I have some mobile accessories and if I just label it as accessories, so I'm not sure either what kind of accessories this box will contain. But if I label it as mobile accessories, then it's more readable and understandable. So the variables needs to be readable, reusable, and maintainable. So these three points are actually referring, referring to these three points here. Now let's go to the PyCharm. In our previous session, we learned that how we can actually install the PyCharm. So I'm opening the PyCharm. And let's start writing the code here. So now we are in the PyCharm here and let me create a project because we haven't created a project as of now. So simply go to these lines here, click on new project here. Here we need to provide a name of the project. So I will say Python for automation testing. And from here, uh, you can change the location where it needs to be created. Do we really need to create a Git repository right now? You can create it later as well. Do we need a welcome script? You can click on this one to see what kind of a welcome script we can have. Then here we have a virtual machine. Okay. So 
just click on create we have provided a name and just click on create here now once you provide this one it will ask for to open this into a new or this window so if, if i use this it will open this in this particular window and uh, it will replace old with the new project right now my install selenium is there if i go with this window it will open my project in the same window but if i go with a new window it will open into the new window as well so simply i will click this window here and it will start creating a project it will create a virtual environment here where we can actually write and compile the code so once it will be done so you see that uh, this is uh, basically a sample welcome uh, you know script here and this is our folder structure here and this is the main folder and inside this what i will do is that i will create another directory and i'm saying it as tutorials and inside this i will create a python file and the first file is basically variables so intro underscore variables so there's a file name and now here we can actually write the code so as we learned that it's a dynamic type right so i can say x equals to x is equals to 10. so you see that we didn't get any kind of a error here but it says invalid python interpreter circuit for this project so configure and this one and now the error is being removed so in case if you face this error you can simply use this way now if i say uh, z is equals to and let me name it as string so testing so again this is a string this is a number and you see that we are not defining anything here this this is why they are dynamically typed and let's run this one but before running this one from here we can open the terminal if i run this one so process finished and we didn't see anything here because we have just defined the variable and this variable this is the name of the variable and this variable contains the value x so x contains 10 z contains testing funder now as a programmer when you start so as a student basically when you start learning the programming the, the, the first program you always write is to print something so let's print these things so in order to print this particular variable i just need to pass this variable here and that's it and now if i run this one you will see that the value is printed 10 here and similarly if i need to print this z so i just go here and print z and run this one so you see that and end testing for nice printed successfully now what happens is that the names should be here i am using x and y so let me name it something meaningful so meaningful can be um so let me say trainer equals to or institute is equals to this now this is a meaningful name and once i start executing this one because we are trying to print z here so what happens is that so it says that z is not defined and we know that it is not defined now if i replace this institute here and run this one here now see that testing for now is printed successfully now what happens uh, when we talk about the print itself so 
you can directly print the value here and here how you can print a value so if you hover over there so you will see that in order to provide a string str means string we need a double quote in some cases single quote is also working so i will say testing printer and this is one okay and now let's run this one and you see that it got printed now if i go here and if i do a single quote and run this one so still it will print if i say let me this one and say let me yep so if i go this way it print 10 and what uh, if what happens if i remove the quotes here and directly provide a number here so it will print the number so numbers are basically not provided by the course if you provide by by using the quotes here it will consider it as a string not a number so this is a a very basics about the variables in our upcoming tutorials we will learn more about the variables different types of variables then we will start building up our skills step by step thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial